Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a cricket panel board of your own so that you get updated scores to your screen without logging on into any kind of website. For the Splunk enthusiast, as I'm using the tool Splunk, it will be a good experience if you watch this video till the end because I'll be covering several topics such as scripted inputs, advanced dashboards, and web scrapping. So make sure you like the video, share it amongst your friends. Without, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So guys, before we start, I would like to demonstrate this uh, dashboard. So I click onto the Just Dashboard of Splunk and we can see that we have two options. First of clicking time, which I set it as 15 minutes and then we can choose our required country, which is playing the game. I choose Australia. Now the Splunk dashboard takes a bit of time for the first time to load input, but then it will get updated after each 50 seconds. So it's waiting for the data. Now we can see the score. In 132 runs have been made in 48 overs by the loss of 4 wickets against India. Let's recheck this Splunk dashboard with actual website of Crickbus. So we can see 132, 4, 48. It's the same result. So let's learn how to make this dashboard in this Splunk. So guys, our first step is to create a Python script for web scrapping the data. Don't worry about this script. I have pasted a link which is having the script in the description below. Let us copy this script into the bin folder of our search and reporting app. So we head to the EDC apps. search bin and we paste it over here it will ask for a permission we grant it and it got pasted you can see cricket underscore script now let's move on to the next step in this step we will be editing the props of search local in the Splunk. So in the Splunk we added these uh, as so for editing the source type. Don't worry about this source type. I have pasted a link of this to copy paste in the description box below. So guys in this step we are going to create a scripted input for which we go to data inputs. We scroll down to the option of scripts. We open this option. Then we create a new local script. In order to create a new local script, we need to fill certain details. First, we select the script path. So as we know, we are having our script in search bin. So we select it. It will automatically fetch all the scripts. So we scroll down to our script, which is cricket underscore script. Now we can choose the time interval in seconds or in squad schedule. I prefer it in seconds. Now we can also check this interval time, making it to 50. So that after every 50 seconds, it gets reloaded into Splunk. Now, here's an important thing to note that we will select a source type. I have already created a source type which is named uh, what's happening okay I've already created our source type in custom which is named a Craig bus. Don't worry about it. I have pasted a link of this uh, of this source type in the descriptions. You can simply go and paste in the props. Now we create an index name. Index name, uh, create, uh, let's name it to cricket underscore score. Okay, the way you save it, then we review it. So 
our source type is quick bus okay let's submit it now we have created our scripted input and we can start searching let's also check if the results are coming so we we will wait for a few minutes it's been few minutes let's check if the data is coming in our index or not so if we go to our index which was cricket uh, sorry which was a uh, cricket underscore score that's a funny name we set it to 24 hours and we search for it let's see how many events are coming 378 events that's a good thing that we are getting all the events let's move further in our making our dashboards So now we move ahead to the final step of creating our dashboard. So we uh, are having this HTML code, uh, which I'll be posting in the link given in the description box below. We copy it and we then go into our Splunk. In Splunk, we had to making a new dashboard. So we click on the tab of dashboards and we create a new dashboard let's give it a title um, cricket panel for you okay uh, rest of the things you can fill as your as your requirements let's create the dashboard so in this we directly now go to source we select it delete it and we paste our HTML code sorry this name change this name as per required don't no need to change if you want it at the same cricket panel for you it doesn't matter so let's save it and here we are with our final product let's make our uh, let's make our choices so the time is last 15 minutes and we choose country Australia okay now let's wait for the output it takes a bit of time for the first time as we know it will get updated after every 50 seconds so here we are with our new dashboard 